In this tutorial, we're going to do something called splash of color. Um, the splash of color works like this. Um, you get an image, such as the sailboat image. And what we want to do is pull out just really prominent colors from the image. Um, we want to turn everything else black and white. Um, so let's get started. We're going to, first step, duplicate our background. Then on the black background, the top background copy, we're going to call this black and white. And we are going to turn the black and white layer to black and white. We're going to go to colors and desaturate. And we're just going to desaturate there. Now, um, we still have underneath the original color image. And what we want to do is, is make the colors of the sail of this sailboat shine through. Um, so the, our next step is to go to Layer and Mask and Add Layer Mask. And once we have that Add Layer Mask dialog, we're going to choose the White Full Opacity option. Say Add. And notice it's going to add a, a, another white um, layer to the right of our black and white image. We want to make sure that the black and white, or excuse me, the white layer is selected. And the way this works is um, I'm going to make sure that I have bl black in my foreground. And anything that I draw now on the white layer in black will erase the black and white image here. So I'm going to choose a brush and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. You can see that. Um, now we're going to take our brush and we're just going to start taking away slowly but surely the black and white portion of the image attached to the layer mask. Now, I want to play around a little bit. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here. Now, the real advantage of the layer mask over simply using an eraser to do this this technique is that, let's say I make a mistake and, oops, I go into the sky. Um, I can fix that by just swapping white into the foreground and it's going to add back the black and white by adding white to the mask. So swap again. I'm going to make my brush a little bigger and make this go faster. Oops. There we go. I can I can go even bigger now. There we go. It's looking pretty good. I have a little touch-up to do over here. I want to get rid of this blue from the sky. And this blue from the sky up here. Um, swap again and pull back my red that I just got rid of. And go down. I had one more little section in here I think I wanted to clean up. Now I'm going to go down and zoom back out, or go to 100%. And the last thing I want to do is just pull out the blue in the water. So I'm going to real carefully click once, hold down my shift key, go all the way across. I'm going to do that again. Click once, hold down my shift key, go all the way across. And that's getting me just the water selections here. And I'm going to go back, swap out. I'm running out of time because I'm using Jing, and Jing only gives me five minutes. Um, but I'm about done. Um, there's my splash of color. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.